Susan Clark, my next guest is uh, one of Hollywood's busiest young actresses. She's appeared in 15 films and recently played in a wonderful role of Babe Dietrichson on television and will be seen at NBC's McNaughton's Daughter, which airs tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Would you welcome, please, Susan Clark. Susan. <laughs> That's a pretty dress. Thank I like you. that. Thank you. You know what that reminds me of? And I don't mean this as a put down. It was. No, I mean, <laughs> those, the, the things that my mother used to have on the chairs. They on call, the piano? On the piano. Antimacassars, and they'd have them on the uh, little things on chairs. Yeah, well, they put them on the piano. That's what this was. Really? It really was. I found it, and a couple of years ago, this was what you wrapped around when you went out at night. And it just kind of died, so I made it into a dress. That's I didn't true. make it, but it was made. It's very pretty. This is really terrific to be here. Hey, well, you're on a good show tonight. This is just craziness out here tonight. You know, it's 25 million people watch your show in their bedroom. I read that. Really? Yeah. And I, I, if there are two to a bedroom, that's 50 million people. That's a lot of people watching at night in their bedroom. Well, we assume that they are watching in their bedroom. They always... Oh, that's what they said in this article. Yeah? Yeah. That's intriguing. You know, you, you forget that when you do this. I guess you're an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Oh, I think I was know. down. I was in Miami Beach recently, and, and it was uh, time for your show, and, and the windows were open because it was so warm down there, and it sounded like it was being broadcast from that building. I mean, just around everybody's suite and room, everything. That's Johnny funny. Carson coming out, you know, and here's Johnny coming all out the building. You know what I did once, and I told this story, forgive me, but it reminded me, when we used to do the show out in California and come out to New York, uh, we were on one night, and I was in staying in the hotel, and no, I, was, I wasn't here. I was someplace like in Dallas. We'd pre taped. And I was walking down the hotel, and I hear the show. You know, and I knock on the door. And a lady answers the door. True story. And I says, could you hold it down a little? I'm just down the hall. And the lady went. <laughs> <laughs> and I just walked on down the hall. It was worth the whole moment. And yeah. She never put that together, I don't think. She, <laughs> like we were taping in the next room or something. She just stood there and looked at me. <laughs> Made her night. Nice. True. You were wonderful in the Babe Dittrich story. Oh, you yeah. really were. Great time. Did you have to prepare for that? Yeah, I went to the superb to... athlete. You must have had to train a little bit. No, I was never an athlete before. I never did any of that stuff. They conned me, see. The producers yeah. knew that it was a great part, and it was this marvelous woman, and it was larger than life. You were saying earlier about Mae West not wanting to, to do small things. Right. And this Babe was, a, was larger than life. So... They call me by saying, well, we'll have a whole team of, of girls from UCLA who will do all these things. You know, mm, just show sure. up, hit the golf club a little bit, and run a little bit, and everybody will do it. But, but they got these great coaches, and I was conned, and it was the Berlitz of, of sports. I, Crash course yeah, and how to swing a golf three course. hours a day for, with golf and three hours a day at UCLA. You must have some natural ability because it's very difficult for somebody to fake a uh, golf swing without looking amateurish or a tennis swing, you know, or any of those things. Well, you're, you're a tennis player. Are you a golfer, too? I used to play a little golf. I gave it up. But I can see why, if you've never played, it would be very difficult in a, a short time to look like you know what you were doing. Well, I think, I think it was because I had no preconceived ideas no. about any of that. And so it was easy when he said, uh, he, he trained me like it was a dance. That was really, and the ball was something, and it was all rhythm. Great, right. And it was That's numbers. True. Hey, now you've got it. something that should be fascinating coming up. You're going to play Amelia Earhart. Yes. A lot of the youngsters the other night, I was sitting with Timmy, our son, and he didn't know who Amelia Earhart was. You know, and the young kids don't. She was, she was a great, a great woman. And a Ava Trix, I guess, is that the Ava proper? Ava Trix. Ava Trix? What is it? Orson, is it Ava Trix Avi or? Ava I don't know. You just, well, I want, you I want it. If you know. To me, you look if, like you should know everything, right. Orson. I do, but if, I do, but if I told you, I'd make the women's lib angry. Why? I know the answer to that. Of course it's aviatrix, but we're not supposed to distinguish that oh. way anymore, are we? It's a, it's well, a, I it's aeroplane know. person, I An suppose. aeroplane person. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I think that's carrying it a little too yeah. odd absurdum, right? A pilotess. Now, you, you're not a flyer. No, but I'm taking flying lessons, and it's exciting. Just to get the... Uh... To get the feeling, because I can't imagine sitting in one seat for 14 hours holding that thing and being totally alone. And that's what she did when she came from Hawaii to Los Angeles and when she crossed the Atlantic. I mean, the, the concentration and the loneliness. And she never ate. She only drank tomato juice. But one of the great stories, unfortunately, we won't be able to put it in, in the, uh, the show, is when she and her husband, George Putnam, were in Washington 
and Roosevelt was president. And Mrs. Roosevelt was fascinated with the whole idea of flying. And she said, um, Amelia said, well, shall we get out of this party? It's kind of a dull party. How'd you like to fly in a plane? And Eleanor said, that's terrific. So they got in a car, they drove to the airport, they peeled back their white gloves, and, and Amelia Earhart took the president's lady up in the air. And she uh -huh. really got on. She thought that was terrific. And she came back and she asked the president if she could take flying lessons. He said, no way. You're going to stay on the ground. That's interesting. But now, why couldn't you show that, the little I don't anecdote? Know. I don't know. I think it's too expensive. That's, that's very interesting. There's still, how did you resolve? Do we have a film clip from this? I was going to ask how they resolved the story, because there was quite a bit of controversy, as you know, about what happened to Millie Earhart. There were many stories that she many. was captured by the Japanese and was alive uh, yeah. and... Uh, I think Lost at sea, never, never found. And and captured and killed. One one story said that she she died of dysentery in a in a Japanese prison. Right. So war nobody camp. really knows. For we sure, don't. Do we take the story up to the way the American public heard it on mm -hmm. the air, which was her voice as she as it got fainter and fainter. Let them and arrive at their nothing. own conclusions. And and the film ends on the uh, United States ship to Itasca. Yeah, well, that's only the yeah. fair way to do it and let them resolve let them it. Let, their own mind let me do this. We'll be right back after this. Up in the valley of the jolly green giant. I'm going fishing today. If anything happens, call me. Hey, Sprout! Already? It's something really different. The Giants Lasur brand peas combined with a variety of vegetables like tiny peas with carrots and onions, all frozen in specially seasoned sauces. Delicious. Green Giant brand Lasur combination. Doesn't that giant ever take a day off? <laughs> green Giant. There's something about a gray, rainy day that makes a delicious coffee like Café Vienna a real treat. This General Foods International coffee has a touch of cinnamon flavor that's like a touch of old Vienna. You know, when it's cold and damp on the outside, it takes a very special coffee to make you feel warm and relaxed on the inside. General Foods International coffees. It's our flavor that makes us special. Ah, we were talking, I wanted to ask you one thing. Somebody says, because we were talking with somebody last night, uh, Chuck Heston, about doing pictures, him being so tall and sometimes leading ladies being short, and all of the devices they resort to. Didn't you have to mount a horse in a picture using a ladder? Oh, yes, yes, that was very embarrassing. I was playing the part of a, of a, of a great rider, and I was terrified of horses, and so they said, well, and it's television, so you show up at 6 o'clock and you do the love scene at 6.30, and then you, and I sat on the horse, and I was so nervous that the horse started shaking, and even with four wranglers, four horsemen on each leg, the horse was still doing this. So they said, cut, get the ladder. So I had to get up in this period thing, it was on the Virginian, sit on the top of the ladder saying, ha, 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 <laughs> and cut, and well, that's all they wanted. And then they said, bring while out the diving board. While they're shaking the ladder. They're shaking the ladder, and I'm holding two pieces of leather, the reins, that another man six feet away Just is doing. And he's bored, and he's <laughs> spitting out the... That's the uh, test of a good actress, to get yourself into that. And then, and then they said, get the diving board. And the diving board was for the jump. She made the spectacular jump. So the idea was, I ran up the diving board and went, ha ha! And that was all they shot. Then I fell into a pit of sand. And that was the bottom. They dusted me off and said, we'll take one more, and that's it. Uh, you see, you destroy all the illusions of show business. <laughs> no fun anymore. I'm going to bring our next guest out, because he is here infrequently. Um, he's from Maine originally. He now lives in Costa Rica. He is not a professional actor. His name is Sam Blotner. He's kind of our correspondent from Costa Rica, which most shows don't have. Uh, <laughs> and they say where...